Hi everyone, welcome to episode one of Hot Tub Deliberations. I thought I'd start a new series on my channel. These will basically be miscellaneous ramblings and things I've thought about in the previous night's soak in the hot tub. I probably won't record any of them from the hot tub because I tend to tub at about midnight, so it's quite dark of course, and that I would have the, hot, the jet pump noise to contend with. And as well, I tend to soak in the buff, and I don't think any of us wants any kind of an unfortunate nip slip or anything like that. So these will basically be my cerebral meanderings from the previous night. For episode one, I'd like to discuss the recent Google Hangout between the Quiet Atheist and the Bible-thumping wingnut. Now, there are many things I could comment on in that particular Hangout, but I think I'd like to keep it to one topic, and that is what I see as the constant deception and misrepresentation by the rabid presuppositionalist of the atheist's worldview. Quite often they will say that atheists have not given an accounting for knowledge, when quite clearly we have. It's been laid out many, many times. The fact that we make an appeal to senses, memory, and reasoning, and that that's not particularly satisfying to you as a theist, well, that's the way it is. I'm not particularly moved by your appeal to scripture. I don't find it very satisfying either. But what you cannot do is you cannot say that we haven't given accounting for knowledge. You can only say it doesn't satisfy you. Now, quite often how they'll do this is they'll say, the proof that God exists is that without him you can't know anything. Atheists haven't accounted for knowledge. Therefore, the atheist worldview has been reduced to absurdity. And again, if you're going to continue to be deceptive and say this, then I think I'm just going to return by saying the proof that God does not exist is that if he did, you couldn't know anything. Because on my worldview, we can clearly know things. And on your worldview, your God is omniscient and omnipotent. So you'd have no way of knowing whether or not he was deceiving you. You can't know things if you could be deceived. Uh, a lesser being, you might be able to devise a way of seeing if they were deceiving you, but certainly not one whose characteristics you do not share, namely omniscience and omnipotence. You'd have no way of knowing. It's impossible. And of course, you can't appeal to scripture because that could be part of the deception. In fact, all of this could be a grand illusion and you'd have no way of knowing. Now, am I making this argument? Not really, although I do think it's a valid objection and it's a hurdle that the theists can't clear. But really what I'm saying is I object to this constant misrepresentation of my worldview and I feel no compulsion to sort of level some intellectual charity your way when it's not being reciprocated. If you want to have honest discourse, you kind of have to leave the deception behind. And of course, it goes far beyond just sort of a generalized deception of the atheist worldview. They'll actually take it to the level of outright lies. And they'll say, uh, so-and-so has uh, admitted that they have no accounting for knowledge. When nothing could be further from the truth, the specific person they're referring to has actually given a very succinct and eloquent account for knowledge claims on his worldview. So this becomes an outright lie. And again, uh, I don't think you can be too, too surprised when people don't want to engage when you're willing to engage in these sort of deceptive practices. You'll either have some honesty when representing your opponent's worldview, or you pretty much remove yourself from the conversation. So that's it for episode one of Hot Tub Deliberations. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks as always for watching.